What's going on team? It's your boy G, aka Donato Sensei. We're back at it again with another episode of Donato Explain, man. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Attack on Titan. Let's get it. Okay, so with this week's episode, we have another non quote unquote action episode other than what happened in the beginning, which was Gabby and Falco escaping from their prison cell, pulled a hoodwink against the guard and got up out of there. And Gabby still messed up, which is understandable. Her hero, Zeke, has betrayed her in her mind, even though pretty much what he's doing is for the greater good of all the Eldians, at least in his mind. Now, whether that's good for the scouts, that has yet to be seen, but you know, at least on their side, he's making a play. Now, with Gabby and Falco just not privy to, you know, not only the plan, but the information and be able to process that, you know, Gabby's, Gabby's going through it. And we've seen that, you know what I'm saying, from the jump. She's been on a rampage since Aaron's attack. So nothing that happened or, or what she did surprised me in this episode. It was more so a building episode for, you know, whatever is to come. I think these like small lulls in between, you know, these big moments in this last season are definitely definitely necessary to you know not only bring things full circle which is something that definitely happened in this episode but also to reinforce the main message and you know main problem with this whole thing so let's get right into it as Falco and Gabby were you know running away and escaping from the prison which I don't know how they only had one guard on them I guess because they were you know quote unquote children they felt like they didn't need to you know devote a lot of manpower to guarding them in that prison and and they got up out of there pretty easily. One fake stomach cramp and they go. And they, you know, got a lot of ground covered. They ran through the night, made it to a stream. And then this girl pops up on them. And this was after Falco and Gabby pretty much started having an argument on what they're going to do. Whether they should stay and try to hide or, you know, if they should continue on and and move on to a, a different place whether you know gabby just had one thing on her mind and that was finding zeke and getting him to explain why you know that was her main question was why that's a that's a, a major question for this whole series in general from aaron's conversations with reiner to you know gabby's conversation with this mystery girl who we come to find out was the girl that Sasha saved. Now they just keep putting Sasha in our face, bro. And I'm, I can't take it, bro. I can't take it. I don't, I don't like how well everything is. It's just coming together, bro. Cause it's just not right, bro. She was taken from us too soon, too soon, bro. Like as far as like hierarchy in the group, you know, she was definitely down there, but I definitely thought Connie was gonna go out before her, you know, but that's, that's besides the point. So as they were having their argument they actually got to a little scuffle then this girl popped out of the forest and offered them shelter uh, at this orphanage which was established by Historia after um, she took rule you know so all the orphans that survived and like all their parents that you know died in in all the Titans attacks like now they have you know set places where they can go so in a sense falco and gabby have a perfect place to not only build their strength up but be able to you know take some time and, and really get a plan together now they were not being the most you know secretive especially when it came to you know gabby sitting there in, in pulls of rage bro like still to this point whenever anybody speaks to her you know, she is, has everything they taught her drilled in her mind and just repeating, you know, what she's been told. And it looks crazy, right? It looks crazy, but, you know, it, it shows the mind state that they put these kids that are these warrior cadets through because their one true dream is to become a warrior so that they can provide for not only their family but so that their family can have better living conditions all of this pent up rage and aggression comes from you know their upbringing and the way that they you know, had to fight to get into position that they are now so everything that's going on is pretty much understandable because we've already seen it before you know not only from Aaron's you know Aaron's time 
with the scouts and cadets and having the one thing on his mind to Reiner having his breakdown in depression. He just woke up from his, I guess, coma. Everyone's back in like the hospital kind of recovered, having nightmares. And at first I thought this was like a dream. I was like, nah, it's not a dream. <laughs> it's definitely not a dream. I was like, that would've been a cool twist to it. But yeah, man, it's, it's the show is a repeated cycle of hate and grief and just revenge, bro. I still don't know how this is going to affect not only just Gabby, but Falco as well, um, with, you know, them really having a better understanding of like, okay, like these people aren't really, you know, devils. And Falco was already having these doubts in their mission prior to this because he wants Gabby to live a long life. He doesn't want her to be a warrior. Like she is like, you know, one of the most important people to him. And he's the, she's the only reason why he's, he's there right now, you know? And he tried to express that to her. Um, before they got interrupted when your whole world gets turned upside down like I, I i can't i cannot blame gabby for reacting the way that she is she really folding them right now but if falco wasn't there you know what i'm saying she'd probably be done for already so i i think that this was like a really really um good character development episode for you know what whatever we're going to see from their uh, i'm assuming that it's going to be a reunion between those two coming soon not those two, but those three coming soon. And then that's when she's gonna really start understanding not only just this world, but you know, her role in it at this point. And everybody else is like the, the true history of what has been happening. So I think Gabby and Aaron are not necessarily one and the same, but I think Gabby is gonna have an important role in Aaron's redemption, maybe, I don't know. But that's all I got for this episode, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hopefully 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 we get um some more news on zeke and his whole plan and you know how aaron fits into that plan um as far as like you know what's really going to happen because all all we know now is their plan and what they want to happen but you know nothing has actually happened it's been pretty much a stalemate i ain't really talk about han in this episode but just because uh, what she's going through is not it's not that deep to me at this point because you know she doesn't really have a lot of options and um, and she's just she's just rolling with the punches right now you know and when the time comes to make a that huge decision I think she's gonna make the right one just because that's her character so that's it for this episode man hope you guys enjoy if you did hit that like button down below for your boy subscribe to the channel for more and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video man y'all know the vibes I'll just keep going see you guys me boy G peace.